Hi everyone, it's Amanda. It is 1st of May 2018. It's still the 1st of May. I say that because I made another video this morning which is 99% uploaded so I'm going to push the button on that in a moment and let it go out into the world. Um, but the video I'm making now is what I thought I was making this morning because I sat down to make a, a video for you at a individual level, you know, what's coming up in May and it got taken over by something else. It got taken over by um, something, a collective message that needed to come through on the peace process between North Korea and South Korea and also a look at the UK as a bit of a, uh, we're in a bit of a pickle over here at the moment politically. So that's what that one was, but there are some very interesting bits in it. I'd, I'd encourage you to watch it, even if you're not particularly interested in those, those subject matters. There's quite a lot of good stuff in it. So what we're going to do now is look at you, what's going on in your life, um, asking the angels to bring it down to a um, an individual level. So I'm just um, shuffling the cards and then we will get going. Okay. The lovers has just fallen out of the pack. Um, what am I thinking about May? I'm actually feeling quite good. Uh, I obviously had the workshop that I ran uh, at, at the weekend, which was only two days ago. Um, I'm feeling very buoyed up by all the light that came in, the upgrade energy. I'm feeling good. Um, a number of people are reporting today that after the full moon in Scorpio, they're feeling all right. They're, they're feeling quite light. So that's good. I'm sure it's not the same for everybody. So those of you that are feeling a little bit tender, hugs to you. But um, equally, hear me when I say I'm feeling quite good and other people are feeling good because that's the energy we're tapping into. That's the energy we're wanting. Um, so, May is starting on a light foot. However, I feel as though there are some heavy imprints in it. Um, <laughs> so, let's see what we're going to get. Right, let's do a spray. Uh, who should we go with? We're going to go with Gabriel. Let's set the energy for the month ahead. So I'm just going to put the lover's card out. I don't know why that's come out yet, but we'll, hopefully it'll soon become apparent. So I'm going to ask Spirit, please, for six cards for the month of May. Six cards for the month of May. One... Hope you're doing well. Two, three, four, coming out very quickly. Five, coming out very quickly. The cards are coming out very quickly. And on the bottom of the deck is the King of Wands. He came up in the other video I made this morning and I was talking about him being quite impulsive and fast moving and dynamic, which is great, but I'm also feeling there's a need in May to consider and to reflect. And I'm feeling the energy's good. I feel like we're gonna be on a bit of a ride, to be honest, guys. That's what it feels like to me. It feels like we're gonna be on a bit of a ride. It's gonna be quite fast moving, quite fast paced, things changing quite quickly, hour by hour, day by day week by week um so you've got to you've got to keep up with it and by that i mean look after yourself so you've got the energy for it funny i changed my top to make this video and i put this sort of um it's like an orangey red top on uh matches the king of wands uh uh gown actually um and of course this is a more dynamic color than the one i was wearing this morning which was like a, a, a pale blue um, it just feels that it's, yeah, it's fast paced, May. It feels very fast paced. It feels very high vibration. It feels as though there's a day, I haven't even looked at the cards yet. It feels as though there's a danger that we're not grounded in May. Okay, so you need, really need to watch that you ground yourself. Um, and I'm talking about grounding with the earth and, you know, really grounding with the earth, walking in nature, um, gardening, whatever it is you want to do, but just the need to really get out in nature. Um, what else is coming through from May's perspective? 
new news um, that comes in quickly, I'm hearing as well. Um, people expecting reactions quickly to that news. Again, pause, consider, think about what you say before you reply. Um, a lot of hot heads around in May, it feels as though that's what it feels like. And it really is a case of counting to 10. Right, let's see what goes then with all this fast moving energy. What's the first card? <laughs> Can't make this up. The first card is the chariot. Look at that. The chariot is exactly what I was expecting. Well, I wasn't expecting to see it. It, it makes sense that that's there. The chariot is go it's like we've all been on amber we've been waiting may it's like go you know um move do masculine energy king of wands and the chariot do it go for it um but i'm still maintaining that to be able to ride the chariot properly and the chariot of course links into the energy of cancer which is july so it feels like we're going from a time period from May to July, so the next few months. So wherever you're heading over the next couple of months, it feels as though events are coming in at a more faster pace. Things are speeding up. Uh, the year is speeding up. Um, and you're having to keep your wits about you. Um, but it's important that, you know, physically, if you're riding something forward, you're moving forward, that you do have moments to pause as well. Otherwise, you may miss your destination, is what I'm hearing. So we've got the chariot. What follows the chariot? What follows the chariot is the five of cups. Um, okay, so that's a morning card. Next to that is the knight of wands. Again, another really fast-moving energy. Fast, 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 I tell you. The page of pentacles... The Knight of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. What I'm feeling from these cards also is there's a very young, immature energy running through May. Um, and that might be linked into the fact that if you're not careful, you might be responding to people and situations in your life from the perspective of your inner child. Now your inner child is your inner child. It's not It's not a fully grown, developed um, part of you. And you need, if you're stuck at a certain age, most of us get, a lot of us get stuck at a certain age uh, where maybe something happened to us in childhood or um, we were hurt by something in childhood and we can get thwarted. It literally is like our emotional development can get thwarted. And when we're stressed and when we're under pressure and when things are moving very fast, sometimes it's the, 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 the child within us that responds rather than the fully grown 5D spiritual adult, okay? Because I'm just feeling with so much of this, it just feels like a very young energy with all this, um, the energy of the page and the energy of two knights as well, okay? Um, so watch that, really watch that. Maybe watch your own behavior watch your words watch your actions um, watch your responses stand back because the energy of may is just whew. i also feel the month will go very quickly as well you know literally it's like we'll whiz we'll whiz through it and then it'll be like my god it's june like what what are we doing now um why have we got this mournful energy there is a mournful energy here um and it's right next to the chariot. I'm, I'm sensing that maybe we're moving away from something that has caused us great pain, you know? It's almost as though we want to get as far away from something as possible or somebody that has caused us pain or hurt. There is a danger in May, I'm hearing, of running away from your wounding, running away from what actually is hurting you, running away from your problems in, 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 in some respects. One of the things that came through um, in the workshop I ran uh, a few days ago, we brought in Archangel Michael and Michael's message was very much about don't do what I've just said, basically. Don't run. You know, this is not because the energy is so fast paced and the vibration is so high and it all feels a bit lightheaded and not grounded. Um, the danger is just to want to run away from things. Don't. 
it would be much better if you faced it, okay? And Michael was talking about face it, you know, stand in the mud, face it, look at it. And it's never as bad when you actually do look at it. The worst thing you can do is just sort of flee. Um, so it feels as though May is a month where a lot of details might get missed if you're not careful. I also feel it's a month where you might be able, you, you could take on more than you're able to do. So watch that as well. Feels as though other people are going to be expecting a lot from you. And at the end of the day, you're the only one that can control your own boundaries. You're the only one that can control the pace of your life. And I feel as though there are going to be times in May where you really will be tested and um, need to say no. OK, say no to things that you don't want to do. Say no to things that just don't feel right. Say no to things that you just don't have time for. I mean, I'm a great one to talk. I'm often I often overcommit myself, but I also am somebody that when I know I've overcommitted, I then will take action to rein myself back in. OK, and that feels like something that might be coming up for quite a lot of you watching as well this month. Um, anything else with regard to this five of cups energy? I want to say here, this is, again, I'm not a traditional tarot reader, so I just interpret the way I see it and the energy that I'm feeling from the cards. What I'm feeling there is that if you look at the picture, you know, he's he or she is feeling quite remorseful and quite, not remorseful, sad, reflective, more than anything, sad and reflective. And this person's got their hands up and it's like, help, help, help. And I feel that there's a number of people maybe around you in life or one person in particular in life who you've really tried to help over a number of days, months, years, and it hasn't made an awful lot of difference. And I think you're starting to realise that actually you need to look after yourself rather than constantly going in to save somebody else. Um, it feels as though it's a month where we're fast tracked. It feels as though it's a month which is very much about an acceleration of the fifth dimensional energies. And I think what's happening is that a lot of people who are stuck in 3D are starting to metaphorically drown okay and that's not any of you that are watching this if you're watching me then you're linked into getting on the path or you're already on the path or you're way ahead of me on the path okay um so don't worry that you're the one drowning you're not but i suspect that around you you might have other people who you might have tried very hard to for want of a better word save hate that word but that's effectively what it is stepping in time and time again to try and buoy them up help them whatever and it's as though you just can't do it anymore for me for many different reasons um more because it's almost as though the energy is so fast paced you can hardly keep up with it yourself let alone what's going on in other people's lives as well it feels as though the month is very much about um, I'm hearing the word resourcefulness and needing to learn how to really truly look after yourself. Um, it doesn't mean, of course, we abandon people who are destitute or anything like that. I'm talking about established relationships which have not um, resulted in any in this person in the water ever changing. So it's like you go in with a sticking plaster, but you make no long term difference whatsoever. All you actually do is deplete yourself and you become very flat and very down. And it's like that can't go on anymore. Um, that's that's what it feels like to me. There is money, though. There's some money um, represented here as well. Page of Pentacles and also the um, Ten of Pentacles. Um, so it feels as though May is a good month to um, invest is what I'm hearing. Um, and as I'm saying that, I'm feeling it might be to do with investing in something that isn't classic. Um, so I'm not necessarily talking about going in, in, onto the stock market or anything like that. I'm, ta I'm talking about different ways that you can invest. I'm talking about abundance. Maybe you're investing in your health. Maybe you're investing in um, a, a home. Maybe you're investing in education for the future. Maybe you're investing in training. Maybe you're investing in um, uh, another, commod another commodity other than um, what has kept the world chugging on for many hundreds of years. 
And by that, I suppose I'm talking about other commodities such as renewable energy or something like that. It doesn't feel like it's, you know, let's all go to the stock market and buy shares because I suspect probably long term that's an institution that's going to change. So it's about new new ways to resource um, and make ourselves abundant. I also feel this page of pentacles here is offering an opportunity to some of you. And I feel as though some people will be um, uh, given an opportunity. Uh, and this feels more business related than anything. So it could be, I don't know, somebody comes forward with a good business idea or, a, or an initiative, something for you to join. And if you look at that card, they're doing it from a very good place. It feels like this this person here, this page, he's honourable. Um, he, but also he needs somebody of wisdom. I'm really struck by the ages this month, actually, more than anything. Again, a very a, a younger person. Um, that could be a younger soul person. It could be somebody who's still older but has a younger soul. But there's a youthfulness there's some sort of youthful energy around new ideas um new energies coming in but it's almost as though it needs a combination of the young and the old to pull it off um i'm viewing this one as an older an older figure and the older figure's really happy to sort of be helping out the younger generation as well so maybe it's a month also where we come back together a little bit um we come back together and we recognize um, each other in our communities in terms of whatever age we are, whatever sex we are, you know, all the rest of it. Feels like there's a pulling together type energy to May as well. So I'm going to look at this lovers now. I'm going to see why that flew out of the deck. Let's see what that's about. Why has that come out? May. May 2018. Why has the lover's card flown out? May 2018. May 2018. It's an offer of love that's been given somebody quite a lot of anxiety in terms of whether to deliver it. Um, if it's not an offer of love that comes in from an external source, this is what goes with it, um, it may, might be a deepening of a relationship that you're already in, but it's somebody offering um, a new level of love. Um, so we've got the lovers, which is to do with choices in love. Uh, we've got the page of cups, he comes offering love. And we've got the five, six, seven, eight of wands, which is almost like Cupid's arrow. And they're like, they're coming. And I tell you what, that guy is determined or that woman is determined to get their message of love through. Um, and on the bottom of the pack, we've got the nine of swords. So anxiety linked into that. Um, so from a love perspective, it feels as though, oh, okay. Well, all right, thank you. What they're saying is, what I have been talking about in terms of the general energy for May, for everything, you know, this fast paced for moving energy is also true of um, areas to do with our love life as well. So maybe where we've had real stagnancy, um, there is an opportunity in May for some for some for some action, for some forward movement again. Um, and whether that's to do with, I don't know, unrequited love, somebody that you didn't think loved you, but actually comes forward and says they do, or whether it's to do with um, a, a situation in a relationship where you've both been a bit at stalemate, neither one wanting to communicate. It's as though one of you does, one of you starts to open up and talk and move towards each other again. Um, and I guess the lovers is there. It's like, there's a choice. Do you accept or don't you? Um, what, what are you going to do with it? Very, very um, interesting that on the card of the lovers in this deck, it feels very much like Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. And, you know, the snakes on the ground almost feels like the serpent has been vanquished, you know. Um, and there they are. They're back in the garden. They're, she's offering the apple. But this time, um, nothing bad is going to happen. They're not going to be banished. It's one of the meditations that I run linked into the Archangel uh, workshop that I run which is when we link to Archangel Raphael, we sort of get taken back into the Garden of Eden and um, we reunite divine 
our own divine masculine and our own divine feminine within ourself as well as in terms of partner so that feels as though that's um the opportunity for a closening and a growing intimacy between love relationships um so it just feels as though may is like jam-packed and i'm sensing the energy very much is like oh, gosh where's the where's the time where's the space you're going to have to create the time and the space um because otherwise i think it could be quite a tiring month and i say that actually it's funny because i mean i'm, I'm always busy i'm always always busy i'm always too busy really um but i have got a month this month which i feel is like my catching up month I've still got my day-to-day -day stuff to do, but I'm not running workshops this month or anything like that. Um, and it just feels a slightly slower pace than certainly last month was. Um, but of course, what do they say? Nature hates a vacuum. <laughs> so it's like if you have got a diary that's looking a little bit quieter than normal, watch out. Don't just fill it up with things that, you know, for the sake of filling it up with things, you're going to need the space. In all seriousness, you're going to need the space. I'm going to see which archangel is around us. Let's see which Archangel in particular is coming through for me. That one. Archangel Michael. Yeah, he's a Metatron on the bottom of the pack. Um, put them together because they're two important messages. Michael first. Michael coming through saying, remember who you are. OK, you are a powerful, loving and creative child of God and you are very loved. Remember who you are. Um, I actually feel as well that some of you have literally forgotten who you are. And there is a danger that you forget who you are in May because of this whirlwind type energy. Um, and it's important that you take stop, take stock and you find time to just breathe. I know that sounds stupid, but literally it's a case of just pausing, breathing, you know, creating the time that you need to create to keep yourself well whilst around you, everything just goes a bit, whoa, you know, it's like over in a, over in a flash. Um, if it was an elemental, it would be a lot of fire energy. A lot of fire energy is what I'm feeling. Now, on the bottom of the pack, this makes complete sense. We've got Metatron coming in with some very practical advice, and he's saying prioritise, prioritise. It's exact. He's summing up what I'm trying to say to you. He's saying focus on your highest priorities, and I will help you, and I will get you organised, and I will get you motivated. It's a month where you can't do it all, okay? It's a month where you're going to have to prioritise what is important and who is important. And how am I going to get from A to B? What are the projects that I can do? What are the people that I can see? And what are the other things that are going to have to be left on the back burner for another month? The thing you must not put on the back burner, Metatron is saying, is yourself, okay? You need to be looking after yourself this month. Very strong message on that so prioritize and remember who you are let's just put those there um let's go to the michael spray now and see what comes through so this is the archangel michael spray that we make blue ray be prepared to cut some cords is the first thing i'm hearing him say be prepared to cut some cords yeah, so Michael is saying to, it's a month to cut cords. And as I'm tuning in, I'm really sensing that a number of um, quite thick, heavy cords that are around some of us. Um, I'm, I'm also feeling as well, I'm hearing the word umbilical cord, but I'm, I'm feeling it's more linked into cutting t cutting parental ties that are toxic. Um, and that's going to resonate with some of you and not with others, okay? But there's definitely some um, cords, energetic cords that need Michael's help. Um, and you can request that. Um if you don't know how to do it yourself, okay? Um, it is just about asking him to come in and to help cut any toxic, any negative cords between you and another or between you and a situation um, or between you and a thought form even. Um, maybe it's a thought form linked into poverty consciousness. Think about poverty consciousness as an energy. 
is it something that lingers around you? Look at it, make it real, cut the cord to it. You know, there's, there's something coming up there in May that needs to be looked at. There's a lot of cord cutting going on. I'm just seeing Michael with his sword and he's like, he's really busy. You know, he's like, he's literally like this, this, this. He's chopping away at undergrowth. And it feels as though he is the one who is trying to free people from old stale situations so they can move forward. Um, also the blue ray of Michael is, um, with all this fast fiery energy, the blue ray of Michael is very much about trying to just rein us back in as well. Um, let's pull another few cards then. So energy for May going forward. What can uh, we expect? Some people, not all, um, are going to try, you know, I was talking about don't flee from things, don't run from things, face things. Some people are going to not do that, and are, uh, not necessarily you, but pe maybe people around you or people you hear of, um, are going to try and come in and almost like, it's like underhand behaviour, try and come in and undercut you or you know, rip you off. It could be anything. It could be something very, very minor, but it's just an energy of sneakiness. It's a sneaky sort of energy um, done by somebody else. Hopefully not you. I and mean, if it's you, you're going to get caught up and you're going to get tripped. You're going to get tripped up by that rope. OK, um, but if it's somebody else, they also get that they get justice. Justice is coming. Um, it feels as though it's a month where because we've also got the three of the three of swords. So again, that links into this energy needing to end something, needing to leave something behind. So the cha the chariot's going to move, whether you like it or not. Um, I'm surprised we haven't got the Wheel of Fortune card here, which is fate moving us on. Maybe fate's already given us a nudge. Um, but I, I, I just feel as though it's a month where we're going to have to be very well paced. It's a bit like running a race. You've got to make sure that you've got the uh, you've got what you need for the month ahead. You've got the resource, you've got the energy, you've got the time, you've got the right people on your side, you've got the right mindset within yourself, which I know sometimes is a constant battle. Some, day, some days we wake up feeling good, other days we wake up not feeling so good. But it really is a month to try to run a good race, is what I'm hearing. And anyone that's trying to cheat, because this is like the card of cheating, anyone that's trying to cheat or get ahead of the game, or get ahead of you by any sort of scurrilous means, is just going to be found out. You know, it's uh, it, in a way, it's sort of similar to the collective message that I put out um, in the first video I made today, which was it feels like month, May is a month where a lot gets uncovered. And we were talking particularly from a governmental perspective, it was particularly the UK section where it came up, that anything underhand is just going to be brought up to the light to be looked at. And um, it can't not, this month it just can't not. The light is maybe just becoming too bright now for the, the darkness can't hide. It's like the light is becoming too bright. So it's like anybody in your life who has been underhand or who's being sneaky or is trying to cheat you out of something, it just feels as though spirit aren't having it. Justice is coming in. Whether justice comes in in May or whether it's, I, I feel really I'm talking the period between May and July. Uh, for some reason. I think it's because we've got the chariot card here and the chariot card reminds me of cancer, so it reminds me of July. Um, you could say late June, but I'm, I'm linking it more to J July. Um, I'm being given the analogy of we're running a race over the next couple of months and you need to run a good race and you need to run it fairly and you need to run it without cheating and you need to run it in the best shape that you can be in. And if you're not in the best shape right now, you've got an opportunity over the next couple of months to get some training in. And I'm not talking about physical perfection here. I'm talking about all aspects of health, mental health, emotional health, spiritual health, all of the different layers of the body. Um, I'm going to take a card now from another deck. Uh, unfortunately, it's underneath my camera. My tripod broke, so I'm going to have to just move this. So I might, you might not be able to see as much of me. Oh no, you can still see me. Okay, I wanted to get this deck. And the reason I'm pulling this deck is because it has chakra cards in it. I'm wondering whether there are some chakras in particular that need maintenance this month 
or maybe there'll be another message that comes up don't know let's just see what comes through whoops let's knock, knock that off okay so to go with what i've just said about running the race we don't even have to run it you can just jog it if you want you can just fast walk it you can wheel into it if you want on a bicycle but you've got to do it fairly you've got to do it according to the rules and those rules are 5d rules integrity love compassion kinship if other people aren't behaving well if other people are behaving like this being a bit of a cheat or a sneak you rise above it you show them a different way and you do it for yourself you don't do it for anybody else you do it for yourself Okay, let's have three cards for May from this deck. What have we got? Three cards from May. Three cards for May, rather, from this deck. Reach out, manifest, choose your battles. Yeah, solar plexus chakra. Yeah, there was, I thought there was a chakra. Solar plexus chakra. So it's definitely a month where you're going to have to stay in your power. You're going to have to stay in your power. And you are going to have to choose your battles. You know, again, the analogy of running the race if you're running a race and you're just focused on what it is that you need to be doing over the next couple of months, it, you have you mustn't get distracted. OK, you mustn't get distracted by other people's battles as well. This feels like other people's dramas, other people's battles trying to pull you in, trying to suck you into gossip and drama. Let it go. You know, you don't need that in your life. Um, and really, the what I'm hearing is the, the only battle that you need to be running through the next couple of months is with yourself and it doesn't have to be a battle where you come out bloodied and bruised either it's a battle where you just fight the demons really that stop you from believing in yourself loving yourself and believing that you can manifest anything that you want having said that we have got the card of reach out which shows that um it's important to um, accept that any help from the right people when they step forward to help you and also for you to help others as well um not though not this situation do you remember i was saying not about helping people who won't help themselves not about helping people where you're just exhausting yourself you're not even helping them because they never listen to what you have to say anyway they never act on it it's not that that it's time for those people to either move on evolve or just uh you know give give their guardian angel to them which will already be with them anyway but it's time for you to move on from that i'm talking about reaching out and helping the people who really deserve the help you know who need help who deserve the help and who you can make a difference with as well but equally you might be reaching out to other people as well um but yeah choose your battles choose your battles um it's definitely not a month for uh, I just think because the energy is so fast and everything, a lot of people are going to be like headless chickens and you don't need to be like that. You're going to have to be very steady. You're going to have to be very cool, um, very focused on what it is that you want to achieve this May. OK, now I'm going to grab the um, solar plexus spray because the solar plexus spray came up here as the one to um, to look at in May. Now, solar plexus energy within the uh, range of sprays that I sell and that we make um, is a beautiful pink colour. It's fuchsia pink. OK, and there is a channeled message that goes with it um, online. You can read that on the shop. I'll put the link underneath this video. But it's basically all about um, the, the power of love, really. It's about the power of love and how when you really fill yourself up with the power of love, you feel as though you can take on the world. So let's just spray this. And it feels as though it goes really well with the Michael as well. Let's feel those two energies together. That beautiful pink and that beautiful blue. Also feel as though it's harmonising our male and female within ourselves. They just feel like they go beautifully together. Almost as though Michael is helping you to strengthen the exterior, to protect your aura um to have your back as it were let's just put that around me so it's like he has our back he's standing guard he's cutting through with his sword and for those of you that know how to cut through with your own sword he will teach you that as well but the solar plexus energy feels a more inner 
it's an inner strength um so let's just link into the solar plexus then did the solar plexus come up last month i think it did so our solar plexus is is wobbly I'm, I'm pretty sure it did i think it did so i think this is a repeat from last month so we've we've still got a weakened solar plexus um why is that metatron is saying one of the reasons we've got a weakened solar plexus at an individual level is because the power dynamic on this planet is starting to change the solar plexus is all about power our power our divine power um and it's quite hard to keep it centered and strong at the moment because in the collective literally there is a, there is a battle of power going on and it's it's not just the power from the, the the masculine to the divine feminine it's also a shifting of power around the world it's a shifting of global powers um china in particular coming up much more as one of probably the leading global player now um russia's still in the mix america's in the mix it's all very you know um unsteady no one really knows what's going on or how it's going to play out um and then we've got the divine masculine energy is changing the divine feminine is rising it's just the whole power basis of our planet is changing um and so we where we hold that energy within our solar plexus within our stomach um we're feeling a bit shaken by that so let's just strengthen it strengthen it once again with the future energy okay so beautiful beautiful smell i think it's got lemongrass in it i'll tell you what oils are in it on the website so you can look that up but just link into that and bring that beautiful i'm almost seeing like a beautiful pink diamond um and it's it's wonderful beautiful pink sparkling diamond and it's right in the core of our being being placed there by michael and by metatron and this diamond is multifaceted as they all are and it's been refined and it's been it's being polished um so try to view your solar plexus energy as that as something which has got this beautiful pink diamond energy within it that is being polished is being shaped by the experiences that are going on through this month and in your own life at the moment but also are being a little bit affected and you know buffeted by what's going on in the collective but all the time, just bring yourself back to yourself with your breath, with colour, with sound, with affirmations, with the angels, whatever works for you. OK, so that lovely, beautiful pink energy in the solar plexus just feels as though if it to be honest, it feels that if we have a centre of love right in our core, it's like we can tackle the world. And I think that's why I'm feeling so buoyant today. I'm feeling really good today because I literally had two intensive days of just bathing in angelic light over the angelic workshop weekend I ran. And I'm, I'm feeling really charged up with it. There are still some really difficult situations in my own life, people are pressing my buttons, all the rest of it. But it's as though I've got renewed vigor. You know, I've got renewed... Um, uh, strength just to be able to fight another day and go and, and, and I know it's going to be all right you know um, or I will be all right long term so that's sort of the guidance that, that, that of what is coming in okay now where do we go now I've got another deck here I must just show you this I got given a I get given some lovely presents I have to say thank you all so much um, and this was a gift that was given. I got some beautiful gifts at this workshop. But this was one. Look at this beautiful heart. And that's Mookite. And can you see? It's got the reflection of something in it there. So apologies for that. But um, it's just so stunning. I don't know if I can get it so it's not reflected. Yeah, it's better there. You can see it there. Isn't that lovely? All the way from Australia. Anyway, with that gift came a new deck. So it's an animal deck. It's the Animal Dreaming Oracle deck and by Scott Alexander King. And uh, it's obviously got animals that we don't have here in the UK. A kookaburra, never heard of kookaburra in my life. So I rather love the fact that we're bringing in an animal from the other side of the world to where I'm making this, just to give us a message and to give us some clarity. So let's ask then for the animal to, animals to come forward who are also, um, 
going to be experiencing this whirlpool of energy in May. And let's see what they, what the guidance is, what animals coming forward to help us in May with whatever message. Animal for May, this one. The raven. The raven keeps turning up, doesn't it? I've talked about the raven before. Look at that, raven, magic. Card number 25. Let's see what it says. Card number 25. So as a messenger of the void, Raven guides us to a place of healing, wholeness and connection to spirit by reminding us of the sacredness of prayer. Prayer sustains and enriches us. It is to converse with the divine energies of the universe, with the, with the understanding that in order to realise our wants and our needs, all we need do is harness these divine energies. Magic is the ability to communicate our needs and to channel our purpose by sitting within the silence, ceasing the inner chatter and reconnecting with the universe. It is to seek the assistance of great mystery and to delve into the void for answers, to call to spirit and to ask for help. If Raven has paid you a visit from the void today, you are being asked to honour your innate ability to create magic by participating in the sacred act of prayer. When you pray, you must do so with a reverent appreciation of spirit, in gratitude for the very life given to you, at the time of your birth. Our prayers must be made in honour of the Earth Mother and in recognition of all the living creatures, and they must be made with the firm belief that all people shall someday look to spirit and find the courage to walk as one. Um, Raven offers inner peace that will eventually lead to a deepening of your soul essence and a balancing of the self. Your self-perception will begin to strengthen when you open your heart to the wisdom of Raven. There's a few other words, but I think the main thing here that's coming through very loudly is the power of prayer this month. So the power of prayer. And I, I suspect some people are good and they pray every day, don't they? And a lot of other people only pray when they feel they really have to or when their back is against the wall or when they feel they have no option because they don't have the answer. And I feel as though all of that might apply this May. There may be situations that come up where you're forced down onto your knees, basically. And what I say that, not in terms of an old biblical thing, in terms of getting down as some miserable sinner. I'm just using it as a, um, a measure of respect more than anything else. And I'm using it as a measure of respect to the beauty of life, the beauty of the creator. Um, I think there are some things this May that we're not going to understand. There are some things that are going to happen that we're not going to understand in the collective. May also be linked to... Yeah, prayers for Mother Earth. Okay, prayers for Mother Earth with the turtle there. Okay. <clears throat> Let's... Uh... Just see if there's anything else that wants to come through before I close down. So let's go back to Michael, Archangel Michael. Bathe in my blue light. Breathe in my blue light. Become my blue light. Feel the peace and the calmness that that can bring through times of change, through fast paced moving events, through the world of everyday life. Hours coming and going, days coming and going, weeks coming and going sink into my blue, peaceful energy and cocoon yourself a while from the world outside. 
here within that space. All is well. All is calm. All is peace. And an opportunity for you to take stock, to pause, to breathe, to recenter. This will be necessary this month. And I am here to help you walk through the days and weeks ahead of May. Know that we are with you and that my light is before you. My sword is behind you. All is well. Travel on. Michael's just this very steady presence, this very steady presence. Um, yeah. Okay, final card. Final card for me. Yeah, you can't hold on to, you, you just can't hold on to old energy any longer. This is somebody that's holding on for dear life to material possessions, money. It's, it's a greedy energy, you know, it's all about me, it's all mine. Um, it's all old, old energy. And it's like he thinks he can take it with him and he can't, <laughs> you know. Um, also maybe a message about enjoying your life whilst you're alive, you know. I said that for a reason, you can't take it with you when you die. You know, life is for living now. It's for enjoying. It's for treating yourself. Um, I feel there's a lot of people going to be working very hard in May. And if you're one of them, maybe you deserve a bit of a reward. Rather than stockpiling it underneath your bed or something, you know, for a rainy day. Maybe that rainy day will never come. Not saying it won't, but you know, life is life is to be lived today. The present is all that we know. Don't hoard, don't hoard. And I do feel there's, there's some very 3D behaviour around in May, which you know maybe other people are doing. Um, and it's, it is a case of rising above that, rising above that, and showing a different quality, showing a different behaviour, showing a different energy just feels very much about moving forward into 5D and it feels as though things are going to be happening quickly in May. I'll tune in again maybe in a few days or in a week and we'll see where we're at because I suspect you might see a bit of me over May <laughs> because I think there's going to be quite a few things that I'm going to be keep coming back on to YouTube to be talking about okay. Um, but don't fear it, you know, it's just life. It's, you know, it's, it's like getting on the, the roller coaster ride and we're in for a bit of a ride, but you know, there's some great stuff. It's, it's, it's good, but you've got to pace yourself. That's the thing. Remember the analogy of the race that we got given. Make sure you've got what you need. You've got the right people around you. You've prioritized, as Metatron said, you've, you know, you're resourced up, you're ready for it. Okay. All right, I'm going to get this up online and I'll be back, I think, quite soon. Much love, everyone. Big hug. Bye-bye.